first. Welcome back for tonight's KX Conversation. We're talking about something that is often spoken about, but not so often understood. We're talking, of course, about inflation. And joining us tonight is Dr. James Caton. He is a faculty fellow at the NDSU Center for the Study of Public Choice and Private Enterprise. And he's also assistant professor in the NDSU Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Doctor, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on, Nick. Certainly. So as basic as you can, explain to us what exactly inflation is. Well, inflation is just a measure of an increase in prices on average. So if we say that there's inflation, it means that prices on average are increasing. Uh, so recently we've been seeing annualized inflation or year over year inflation of about 5%. And we've been seeing that for the last few months. That means that on average, compared to a year ago, prices have risen by about 5%. And why is that? Um, the simple answer is that there's more money in circulation. Um, in particular, as we have been recovering over the last year, people have been spending more of the money that they receive, especially from the stimulus. Um, and as that money has entered circulation, uh, prices have tended to rise. Mm -hmm. So prices are tending to rise, but am I correct in saying that people's paychecks, I mean, outside of unemployment pay have not risen? Yeah, on average, uh, wages tend to move more slowly than prices. Um, it used to be back in the 80s and 90s when people expected higher rates of inflation that you would have wages adjust for what was call, called the cost of living. Um, that was really common. And I think that's less common now because we've had inflation rates of about 1% to 2% for the last um, more than a decade. Now, is this inflation that we're seeing now on par with in previous years or is it above where are we yeah you got to ask well in the short run or in the long run in the short term we have seen inflation rise uh to levels that we've not seen in at least two maybe three decades um depending on which indices you look at um and, and what your measure is we haven't seen inflation like this since the late 70s or early 80s and the question is um will this tend to continue is this going to be a high rate of inflation that we see a year from now, or is this, as the Federal Reserve, as uh, Jerome Powell likes to say, the Fed, uh, transitory inflation? Mm -hmm. So what should you and I be watching for as far as the rate of inflation? Um, I would keep an eye on interest rates. Um, interest rates tend to be very responsive to inflation expectations. And what we've seen in long-term rates so far is that um, inflation expectations are around 2.5%, depending on what measure you look at. If we start seeing interest rates rise and the inflation expectations uh, that are linked to those interest rates rise, um, then that means that people are thinking that this is going to be a longer term uh, event. Mm -hmm. So it, let's say we go from two and a half to three and a half, from three and a half to four and a half. That's when we start moving above the Federal Reserve's target level of inflation. Um, and we've got to start asking some serious questions uh, about how to prepare since this looks like it would be long run in that case. And final quick, quick serious question, one of those questions, what can I do to prepare so I don't fall victim to these high inflation prices? Well, if you're suffering from inflation, the only way you're really suffering is if you're holding dollars as your savings. So um, it's always wise to, to save enough cash on hand uh, to handle emergencies, uh, but to have the rest of your savings allocated among different assets, whether we're talking about um, stocks, uh, whether we're talking about maybe people invest in their home, um, different hard assets, different, um, you could call them equities, um, some, something that's not just dollars. Um, again, it's good to have some dollars on hand for emergencies, but if you're concerned about inflation, on the margin, you're going to put, want to put a little bit more of those savings into assets that will increase as prices rise. Dr. James Caton, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Man.